Hey guys, it's Aislinn. In today's video, I'm partnering with Splat Hair Color to show you how to create some beautiful pastel rainbow pops of color. This is my hair before, you can see it's a platinum shade, and here is my hair after, you see those beautiful rainbow pastel pieces. And today I am using the Splat Singles. These are a unique liquid gel formula, so make sure to mix them in the bowl or pouch before applying. And since I want these to be pastelized, I am going to use the pastel mixer. This comes as a whole kit with a bowl, a brush, and gloves. So Splat actually has two options to mix pastels. You can use the pastel mixer, or you can also use their deep conditioner. This is the Clear Gloss Deep Conditioning Mask, and this has so many added benefits. This has baobab seed extract, quinoa oat bran extract, coconut oil, and orange peel extract. I'm gonna try both and see which formulation I like better. So for my pink shade, I am using Pink Fetish, and obviously I'm gonna dilute these. Orange, I'm using Orange Fireball. For my yellow, I'm using Lemon Drop. And then for my green, I'm mixing a lot of Lemon Drop with just a few drops of the Aqua Rush. For blue, I'm using Kelly's Blue, and for my purple, I'm using Purple Desire with just a few drops of the pink shade. I am starting off with the pastelizer for every shade, and then I'm adding in a few drops of color, mixing that up, and then if I want more pigment, I just add a few more drops of the color until I like the desired shade. And also, these are totally customizable. If you want them to be super dark, add a lot more pigment. If you want them to be super pastel, add a little bit less pigment. So you can totally customize and mix up your own shades. All products used throughout this video will be linked in the description down below for you guys. They also gave me a discount code, so you can use the code AZLIN20 for 20% off your purchase. Here are the shades all mixed up. I'm gonna start by sectioning my hair. This is gonna make the hair dyeing process a lot easier and a lot more simple if you just take the time to section beforehand. So I'm just taking a horseshoe section at the top of my head and I'm gonna pin this out of the way. This is gonna be the blonde that's gonna cascade over those rainbow pieces. So now I'm just gonna take a small half inch section around the horseshoe section right below it. And this is where the rainbow prismatic pieces are going to be. So I'm just clipping those three sections off and now we're gonna start the coloring process so I just split that one section into two you want to make sure and take really thin sections that way you're making sure to saturate really well and I'm just taking each color in rainbow order so I'm starting off with pink then I'm moving on to orange then yellow green blue and purple so I'm just continuing applying these colors in rainbow order one after the other when doing pastel hair, you want to make sure your base is lifted to a really bright, nice platinum blonde color. That way the pastel shades show up really good on your hair. If you are worried about the rainbow colors transferring on the blonde pieces you're leaving out, you can always use that deep conditioning mask and put that all over the blonde pieces that you're trying to keep that white platinum shade. That way, if any of the color does transfer onto the blonde, you have that barrier there so it's not going to dye those white pieces. I really wanted to do a white blonde and pastel rainbow hair, but if you prefer silver and pastel rainbow, Splat has a really pretty silver shade. It's called Sinful Silver. You could always put that silver on the white pieces. That way it's gonna create a barrier for you while you're doing the rainbow and you're also gonna get the silver and rainbow that you prefer versus doing white and rainbow. Again, this is totally customizable to whatever you like. If you wanted to do pink on top and pink underneath, you could totally do that. You can use any color you like. That way that shade will be cascading over the pops of the pastel rainbow. So once I get done applying the color, I'm just gonna run my fingers through and kind of blend them together a little bit. Then I'm gonna cover them with foil and roll them up and pin them out of my way. That way they're not hanging on the side of my face and I'm able to still see what I'm doing really well. So I'm just gonna fold them up and clip them out of my way. Since Splat Singles are that liquid gel formula, they are great for using to dip dye wigs and extensions. I have done dip dyeing before, and this formulation it would be so perfect for that and make the process so much easier. Also, all Splat semi-permanent colors are vegan, cruelty-free, and they're also free of PPD, ammonia, parabens, sulfates, and bleach. So they're really conditioning for your hair and they're not gonna cause any damage. Splat Hair Color is also woman-owned and and they're made in the United States in Southern California. 
I do want to give you guys some tips and tricks in case this is the first time dyeing your hair at home. So when you're doing the prismatic technique, again, totally customizable to you. If you apply the color in smaller sections, it's going to be more prismatic. So if you repeat the colors multiple times, you're going to have more of that hollow prism effect. Whereas if you drag the colors down a little bit further and you only repeat them like once, it's going to look more like an ombre, which would also look beautiful. So it really depends on what type of outcome you're looking for again if you want it to be more prismatic try and repeat the colors multiple times if you want it to be more an ombre then drag the colors down and blend them together a little bit better i'm taking really thin sections and making sure that color is fully saturating each strand to maintain really light pastel hair you want to wash in cold water Try not to wash your hair as often, and when you do wash it, try using a sulfate-free shampoo. That way, it's going to last longer. I'm just going to cover this section and pin it out of the way, and then we're going to move on to the back of my head. When doing the back, I like to put a mirror behind me, and then I also like to have a mirror in front of me. That way, I can see what I'm doing. I just line up the two mirrors so I can see the back of my head. If this is your first time dyeing your hair at home, I would recommend having a friend or family member check the back of your head, making sure you didn't miss any spots or have them help you dye the back of your head. Once all of this is applied, I'm going to let it process 30 minutes to an hour, rinse using cold water, and here is the finished result. Look how beautiful. This is so pretty. I love this hair so much. I did mix my blue and purple a little bit lighter, so that way the pink, orange, green, and yellow stood out a little bit more. I thought it complemented the Candy Queen costume a little bit more, but if you did want more of the solid rainbow, I would just add more blue and purple pigment and use less diluter, but overall this hair matches my costume perfectly. Like I said before, this look is totally customizable to what you want. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Splat singles are sold exclusively at splathaircolor.com. I will leave a link to all these products in the description down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much, and until next time, guys, stay weird. Goodbye!